Okay, today we're heading back to the mean streets of the TTS Club Discord to fight some people in Dune Imperium Rise of Ix. These people play all the time and they're very talented, so it's going to be pretty hard to keep up. Okay, first player is red. Cool, I'll be first player. I don't mind. Okay, let's look at these cards. Jameis is excellent. Player. Peter Davis, also excellent. Worm Riders, Truth Sayer. Uh, these are all very good cards, I will say. Uh, let's see who Blue picked first. Archduke Armand de Next up, he is picking uh, Duke Leto Atreides. Who will I pick? I really like all of these characters, or I like all of these cards, and I would love to be able to get them for f the cheap. So I think I will be going with Miss Helena Richis. And uh, our first place player is going to be going with the Baron, Vladimir Harkonnen. Let's see what technologies we're working with. A disposal Factory, if you have six or more currency, trash a card. Memo Quarters, three influence on all four tracks, you get a point. And Sonic Snoopers, trash this and lets you cycle through intrigue cards, which is okay. And a uh, decent starting end. If allowed, I will go to fold space uh, twice. I think I'll just do this instead. Uh, unfortunate. That's where I would have liked to have gone. And I drew both of my orange cards, but I will have my gold signet ring next time. Where do I want to go? I think I will take... I'll go for the double shipping. So that I can get a high council seat faster. Going for shipping early, I get one, and when I collect, I'll get five, and I'll get an extra one, so I'll go up to seven, which is more than enough for the high council seat, which will give me two extra every time. Getting a big one. Big Yellow played a big. dagger, so he can go up here, he'll get an extra influence. Blue is playing a ring, so he will be able to get a card that costs three or less for free. He will most likely be picking up the Truth Sayer, or possibly Jameis. But yep, Truth Sayer, good course. It lets you cycle out a card every time. Which is very nice. Let's see here. The first combat. Gain an influence and Solari. Solari is nice. Uh, So his special ability, he gets to scheme, which will allow him to place two face down and he'll get two extra tokens. So this is uh, the best start you can possibly have. It would have been nice if someone else took this from him, but they did not. Uh, and I wasn't willing to do it, obviously. <laughs> uh, where do I want to go now? So I will have three buying power. So I can get Jameis. I kind of don't want him to have that card. So should I just reveal early is the question I'm asking myself now. I think I might. Going to one of these spaces doesn't do a ton for me. And I think I'd rather be able to go to the water tiles whenever I want. So I'll do that. Uh, or actually, do I want this instead? Who's calling me at this time? Actually, Jameis isn't that great for me because I'm going for a Spice Must Flow strategy. So I'll go with the Bene Gesserit. And I get an Intrigue card. I like early Intrigues. They're fine. I really like getting that card out of my deck as early as possible. So this Intrigue card lets me retreat three troops or get three extra daggers. Blue, or yellow, went to here to get an Intrigue card as well. Looks like blue is going to be going to a... Yep, he'll be getting some wealth. So he won't be able to trash a card this first time around. Because he has to send an agent to each of those spaces. Let's see what the Baron O'Conan reveals. This is a very strong start for them. Basically his ability, if you deploy four troops at once, which he's able to do here because that sends two, and then you get to um, send another two there. It boosts both of those tracks, so he just got double alliances. And now he can start going to shipping. 
as much as he wants. And he'll win this opening combat. So he'll get an extra reputation on top of that. He'll take Jameis, which is fine. Oh, nice. So I will reveal now. Three currency. And I will take this. The two buy power for me is going to be big. Yellow you know, reveals. They have four. I would suspect they get this. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's a great card as well. Gives you an intrigue when you play it, and it's worth three currency. You'll go for that one. You can retreat, retreat three troops to gain a one up on the influence track. Now we'll be moving to the combat phase. I have no troops in here, so I cannot win. Looks like red's going to get first. I will draw five cards. I get to go first now, which is always nice. Any of these that I really want. This is pretty good. And I think I will go for that. So my ring ability allows me to reserve a card. I'd rather have this, though. Sayadina lets me turn water into victory points. That is such a good card. Would I rather have that than just getting two spice every now and then? I think I... Uh, if I had the Jameis card, I think I have to get it just to deny it from going to someone else. Yeah, I will. I will collect. Everyone gets a slurry. So even if I decide not to buy this card, which I probably will, because this is a victory condition in and of itself, just getting a bunch of water and turning it into victory points. And I can start working on getting uh, still suits and stuff. So we'll see. Looks like they're going to go for the spice. Mm -hmm. And it's also nice that she's worth three if you play another Fremen card. Which will... And I already have one Fremen card from the Arrakis li Liaison. This card's also tempting, though. But considering I'm going for a buy-heavy playstyle here, I do want to be going for that. So yellow went here. They got the spice, and they're putting in two troops. Green is getting their high council seat, which is unfortunate because that's what I would have liked to have done, but it's fine. I can do it next turn, no problem. No one else will be competing with me for it anyway. Red will be turning that dagger into a thing, and you can also put a token in there, so future tech is cheaper. So, now I just need to focus on getting water. I will commit two of my troops. I have this, and I would be willing to spend it, because uh, this is a first good first combat. I would get to discard a card and get a victory point. And it looks like I will be winning it, because they are getting a Dreadnought. Oh, they are changing their mind, which is unfortunate for me. Uh, Blue, or this guy's going to use his ability. Let's him get a three cost card for free. This is a great card. It would let him burn way more cards out of his deck. And he is going to go to this area, which gives him a troop, and lets him draw a card. Mm -hmm. Which allows him to commit more troops than me. But I would be, I think I would be willing to commit this for this early victory. He has... Six buying power. Mm -hmm. I'll be getting Worm Riders. Ooh. So I have three. So I can buy this one for two. Mm -hmm. And do I want anything else? Do I have any Bene Gesserit cards? I don't think so. I don't know if I want them. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do have a Bene Gesserit card. Take that as well. <coughs> Okay, yeah, let's see what yellow does. Mm 
They're going to go for the two Solari. Let's see what blue does. They will reveal. They have no daggers. So I can beat them if I play my Intrigue card. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So they can't afford Ooh, this card. Jessica. Gives them a boost for every single thing. Jessica is excellent. And I would like to buy her. She is also a Bene Gesserit card, which would synergize with this. And she's worth three by power. Huge. Let's see what yellow does. They will reveal two, four, five. Oh, and they get. To, oh, that is so Ooh, lucky. Unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I would have loved that card. It's fine, though. Spice Trader still isn't bad. Okay, combat. I have nothing to play. Uh, uh, who does it start? It starts with me. Yeah. I will. Hmm. Play this. Okay, I'll get one water, one spice. So I get a victory point. What is this one called? Terrible purpose. And I get to remove a card from my deck. So I have a lot of blue, so I will get rid of this one blue. Actually, I'll get rid of a dagger. Daggers suck. Okay. Okay, a lot of buying power. I will like to get my high council seat this turn, if possible. Mm -hmm. So they can't afford to get a high council seat because everything costs him one less. So that would be unfortunate for me. Hopefully they don't do that. And it looks like they might. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. I can go there anyway. I forgot I'm not blacked on, blocked on green or blue tiles. But it looks like they're not going to do that. Real shame they were able to buy that Jessica last time. <laughs> okay, so that is Yellow's turn. So it looks like they will be using this probably to get this one. Oh, okay. Wind traps. Give me more water. Kind of nice. Blue is going to an orange space, and they will be collecting a lot of spice for their trouble. Nice. Red will also be going to an orange space. I'll take Solari. So we all get one Solari. What card do I want to reserve? This gives me water every time, which is insane. So I will be going with that one. Where do I want to go? Do I want to spend my water to get a bunch of spice right now? I'm the only one that can afford it. So I think I will be a bit greedy here. Hmm. Five spice is nice though, but one of my victory conditions is just spending a lot of water. So I'm gonna work on getting up my diplomacy with still suits as quickly as I can. So I will do that first. We'll see if the strategy plays off, pays out. Never done it before. We will use this. Oh, crap. I forgot I wanted to go there. Eh, it's fine. I'll do that. In oh, yeah. No, that was the plan all along. <laughs> I could have denied him from getting it, but it's not a big deal. Looks like blue will be getting the Mentet. And red will be playing his gold ring. So he can spend a Solari if he wants, but he will not be doing that because he wants to get a Swordmaster, which is an extra action every round. Okay, so now my plan takes effect. I will be getting my own council member. Let's 
And I will be reserving this. So I will be able to buy that for four, and then I have three left over to buy something else. Pretty good. Let's see, what is yellow doing? They revealed. They have three buying power. Or four because they went here. And yep, that is a good card to buy. Oh, wait. oh yeah, they have another two as well. Okay, let's see what blue does. Blue is going to play the Truth Sayer, which will let them discard a card to draw another card. And lets them go to an Empire, Bene Gesserit, or a Green Square. Looks like they are going to go with the Empire Square. Spend the four spice to gain a bunch of Solari. Good move for him since he doesn't have any Solari right now. Going to discard a card. Draw a card. Yep. <laughs> and end their turn. Ooh. So red has another action to go. Looks like red's going to go to a blue space. He'll get the intrigue and he can commit some troops to this battle. Get a conflict card, hopefully. Four things. Daggers. So I will reveal. So I have two, four, five, six, seven. I will buy this for four. Because my ability makes it cost one less. And I have three left to buy something. And since I'm going for a Spice Must Flow victory, I want as much buying power as possible. So I will go with an Arrakis Liaison because they have two built in. He has eight buying power. Totally must have. Oh, this guy's good. I would love to buy that card. Might even be worth revealing early to get it. It doesn't even need to be that. It gives me a water, which plays into my victory condition very well. I don't do anything. Yellow reveals. They have two buying power, and they buy an Arrakis Liaison. Combat. Red will win, they get a victory point. And blue will get second place, they'll get an intrigue card and a spice. I pass, you pass. I forgot to take it. my victory point for going here. So I'm actually at three. Tied for last place. <laughs> Let's get something good here. Okay. Oh, nice, I have a lot of buying power here. So blue will play this card, go to the shipping lane, it'll let him trash a card. Okay, good, good use of that card. And blue will get a troop. He already draw, drew his entry card, it looks like. No. Red's turn. We'll be playing his Worm Riders. Everybody get a Solari. So that he can go here, and he will collect the Solari. So now I get to deploy my Water Strategy. Which I will be doing now, and I will be collecting more water in the process. Do I want to commit troops? Yep, it gives me more water. Nice. Yep, so I'll spend the three water, and I get one from going here. And uh, let's see here. Where's the victory points for this? Yep. Nice. Yep, yeah. big turn. And I can get more water with this next turn. <coughs> see what yellow does. Yep, they'll get some water for themselves. Probably looking to collect this spice. Which, honestly, soon it might be worth me doing it. We'll see. But they'll probably collect it before I can get to it. Let's see what blue does. Play their gold ring ability. They get to acquire a card that costs three or less. If they want to. 
they are getting their sword master, which is nice. So they'll take an Arrakis liaison. Red will play to a green space, so he will go here. It looks like he will be consuming that to get two off of one of these. He can get any one of them. Yep, that's a good card. Because he's been getting a lot of influence, so he will likely be able to meet this victory condition. Yep, when he buys it, he gets to go up one with any of them. So, well, we, will, we will do the plan that we discussed. I'm going to play this to go to a blue space. I'm not blocked because of my guy's ability. So yeah, I will gain. Someone's already there. Oh, you're the girl. That's right. Okay, so I get the water and I get this. And I will commit the troop because I would like some more water. And I get a rank up for the Bene Gesserit card in play. So I get the alliance, which is always nice. And I get another water. Back shortly. So I have enough water for another victory point when I draw it, which is huge. And... So they'll take a bunch of spice here. I have five spending power, so I can get the uh, the guy that gives water as well. If it can get around to me, and I think it will. Someone would have to uh, lay their cards down early in order to take it from me, and it doesn't look like they're willing to do that. Looks like blue is going to commit a bunch of troops to this battle. Which is fine with me. I'm more than happy with second place. Oh, I should have moved my thing up as well, because I'm now at five. See here, red will play a green dagger. Where will you go? Mm. Looks like they will be acquiring their high council seat. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. Forgot to put my little token there. Okay, I will reveal. So I have five buying power. Don't have to think long about that one. Gives me an extra water whenever I go to her space and it lets me put on the Fremen spaces as well. So now I have two, four, five. Yellow will have three. Oh no, they have four. So I will be able to beat them as long as they don't play an entry card. Hopefully they won't. And uh, they have three, four. Yeah, they have enough for a spice must flow. That's huge. And they will trash that card with. How are they able to trash that? Oops. So he has six buying power. Or seven, technically, because he went here. There we go. Seven. So he'll take that. Okay, and he will buy this card. Gives a spice if he plays another Fremen card with it. <clears throat> okay, Yellow, you playing anything? He said no. Nope. Okay, I am not either. Uh, which battle is this? Uh, this is desert the power. desert power. Desert Some dessert. Okay, I'm good. Come to Papa. Ooh, excellent. Although I don't have a Bene Gesserit card to go with this. Sorry, but... Red's turn is first. I would like to... I just keep getting water? <laughs> I would like to draw a bunch of cards. Actually, yeah. none of these cards are jumping out to me as that great. So I think I will do this. Because I'm not blocked on that, so I can still go there later. And I don't think I'm going to want to go to green this turn anyway. Do I want a fold space or do I want more water? More water. Five. I move up one more here. 
discard this card to get another water and a spice. And that's my turn. So this lets me lock down this alliance, which is good. If I get one more, I get it forever. And it gives me more water, so I will be drawing that card again so I can get another victory point. And I would like to use some of my water. Drawing cards is really important when you're trying to buy victory points. Do I want any of these? Nope, they're not that good. So yellow will play the dagger, so he can go to any green space. I would suspect that he'd be buying the mentat because it costs him one less, but we shall see what he ends up doing. Nope, okay, he's going to convert this sword into an extra buy power, and he can buy a tech if he wants. That right, looks like he'll go for Sonic Snoopers. This is a good card. It's worth one for each faction where I have one or less influence, and I don't think I'll be going to the guild or... Well, let's see what this is. Oh, this is pretty good. They acquired this card. Let's see, where's red going to go? They just spent some spice. Yep, so they're going to draw some cards, discard one card. Pretty good. So I don't have another Bene Gesserit card in play, so I don't get this effect. But I can do my gold ring. It'll let me get a tech for cheap. You guys are super crazy. What do I want? This is a good card. So I will be using my Signet Ring ability. And I think I'll draw the cards. I'd like to get more expensive stuff. One, two, three. Okay. So I get a bunch of buying power now. That's huge. Uh, and I can deploy troops if I had any, but I do not. <laughs> Which is unfortunate, but whatever. So I actually can't get another victory point. I was kind of hoping not to draw into this, but it's thrown. Three, four, five, six, seven. So... Red, get us a lower. Okay. It kind of pays off because now I can get a spice must flow. Okay, so yellow use their ring ability to go here. Let's see what blue does. They will be going to a blue space. Yep, they'll draw a card and they get a troop. This isn't the biggest one to win, it just gives Solari. That's why I'm not that concerned about it. Solari doesn't do a whole lot for me this game. Looks like Red will go to shipping. He's the only one capable of doing that, which is very nice. He'll get a bunch of troops. Oh, he's actually going to save up for a tech piece. Interesting. So I will reveal. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I will take my Spice Must Flow. And uh, I think that is it. So I'm now up to six victory points. Spice Must Flow game. <clears throat> Looks like uh, Mr. Kaz will be playing the Truth Sayer, which lets him discard a card and draw a new card. He gets a victory point from going here. I would love to buy this tech. It would give me three points. So I haven't really been working on a lot of other things. But I can't afford it. Let's see where Red has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, he can afford it. He is picking up his pace. No, oh, he's just putting it down in the wrong spot by accident. Yep, totally fine. Let's uh, see here. Plus three daggers in the front. Two, four, five. Buying power, two, four, seven. Five, six, seven. So you can't buy anything too crazy here. Oh, I forgot to use my gold ring ability. It's fine. I didn't want to trash anything here anyway. Oh, I could have gotten that free, this card. Yes, I'll uh, get seven.
Ooh. And that'll be it. I'll get the reconnaissance out of the way. My fault for forgetting I could have reserved a card with that. Past. Green, I believe. Where are they? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can play this. Get some extra water. <laughs> what is this now? It gives me spice and an intrigue. What's up with these shitty conflicts? Maybe I'll go for this conflict, actually. You're putting your balls all the way in. Yeah. Or do I want to just get more cards here? Do you have to draw three cards? That'd be two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'll go for the card draw. Why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, That's 10, 11, 12, cool. 13. I have a lot of buying power now, so <laughs> I'm pretty flexible on where I can go. None of these really jump out to me. I mean, this is a good card for me, but I'm looking to more buy things. I can do a draw discard situation, but I don't think I want to do that. Just yet. I think I'll take the water if I'm allowed to. So yellow plays this. He has two influence, so he can gain two spice if he discards a card, which he will be doing. Where did he go? He went to here, to the shipping lane. Looks like blue will play doing the desert planet to get a bunch of spice. Man, I wanted that so bad. We were both eyeing it. Red will I go for diplomacy. About to get some water, and then I was about to go there the next turn after that. <laughs> If it stayed there for two turns, I was going to get that fight. I think... Should I go for this victory here? It's a long time, brother. It doesn't look like two anyone else will. Is and a I could probably turn. commit pretty minimal time. resources to it. <clears throat> I agree. But then I would have to get more water before the next turn. I'm worried that Red's going to try and steal away my alliance with the Fremen. Yeah, maybe I'll just go for this victory here. So I have a ton of buying power. I can pretty much buy... Another spice enough must flow no matter what I use. So I get two troops. Which I will put both of them into battle. And I lock down this alliance, which is the important thing. Can't blame them though. Yeah, I get nervous. Yeah. He spent all his turns. He doesn't get a spice must flow. Maybe he does. We'll never know. Oh, fucking hell. There we go. We'll move up one more here. Draw a card. Yep. Oh, okay, so he gets the alliance. Mm -hmm. He's moving up pretty quickly. I will be able to get a Spice Must Flow this turn. <coughs> Red will play a Dagger. He might be buying the tech that I wanted to buy earlier, but we shall see. Solars. Oh, okay, he's just getting the Mintet. Yeah. Fine play. My turn, so I will reveal. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, wait. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Want to get some scouts out there for us, please? Okay. Still gaining victory points. Next turn, I should I'll be able to get to seven. a bonus <laughs> victory point as well. So he is taking that one, which would have been nice for me to have, but I couldn't afford it. Might be able to get this conflict for free, though. We'll see. Hopefully blue and red leave it alone for a turn. <sighs> Okay. <clears throat> oh, so he used to he discarded this, so he could cycle all of his cards out. That's why he got to draw a bunch of new ones. And it looks like he'll be using one now. So he can shuffle his discard deck and draw one card. You don't want to hold on to four Intrigue cards, because if someone goes here, they get to steal one from you. 
Blue is going to play Power Play, which lets them get two influence. Ooh. And looks like they will be winning this combat <laughs> if they decide to commit the troops to it. Which is, uh, honestly, this is a weird play to me. Because he already has three entry cards, so he doesn't really want the entry card anyway. But, teach their own. Get him. He's going to drop them Get all that in. man. Wow. Get him. Um, He's paying a lot just to have one entry yeah, card and one influence. Card. One extra spice. Okay, let's see what Red does. Do they will play their Signet Ring. Here. Go on the shipping track, of course. All the way down, I'm going to get Spice. I'm going to go up here. So, they will get an Alliance. alliance. Actually, I'm going to do this. Three troops. Right oh, that's a good card for him. So he will be taking one of the spice that I would have been getting. Because I cannot beat him. Which is fine. This deck isn't built to win conflicts. It's meant to buy spice most fluids. Okay. Yellow will reveal. They have four buying power. Doesn't really do much for them. Two, six, four, seven, five, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine. Uh, blue is coming in pretty big here. I see. I see. It's going to be a close race. Ooh. Oh. Does he win here? So he gets to move up one more. This is an insane card to get. Uh, I can't shrink it. I don't have permissions, but that's what to get nine. Okay. Let's see what red does. This water. This way. He'll be getting some spice, and he gets a bunch of troops that he can commit to this combat if he wants. Looks like he will, which I appreciate because this guy is very close to winning. Looks like Red will reveal he has five buying power. And he took Desert Ambush for each troop you deploy this turn, and Guild Administrators. Okay, combat. Uh, You can have it. I'm not doing anything. Two spice yeah. for me. I think that's it. Yep. Hitting the next round button goes over to yellow. Okay, I got her. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot go to a blue space this turn, so I can't draw cards. So I really have to depend on someone. Actually, I can still get a water though, so that's fine. So I will not be able to afford this, but I can still get a victory point this turn, thanks to this card. Okay, yellow's going to go in big for this, which is fine by me. We have to really hope that blue can't get a victory point this turn. Doesn't look like there's any free ones anywhere. Big play by yellow. See what blue can do. Blue will use their signet ring to go to the shipping track. Up and down. I'll get the uh, the two spice, two troops. Track of my choice. Ooh, it's coming for red. Looks like red will be using their signet ring ability. Yeah, they'll be buying some tech okay. possibly. This one. Seven. Yeah. Yay. Nicely done. Yay. 
But I will go to hold space. Acquire one of these. Discard a card. To gain one water, one spice. Okay, he will be playing Lady Jessica, which lets him draw two cards. And he's going here, which lets him draw five cards. Wow, this is going to be a big turn. So he will be able to buy a Spice Miss Flow, plus two more victory points. Which will put him up to eight. See what Blue's going to do. Oh. I wish I could have denied that. So they do win this turn unless someone can take a... Card, card, to draw a card. I think I'm playing for second place now, which I should be able to gain. Oh, no. Maybe not. Please, thanks. <laughs> Unfortunately, my strategy was just a bit too slow, it will seem. Yeah. Maybe. But we'll still fight it out anyway. The thing is, do I want to waste my spice at this last gesture? I don't think so. So I get a victory point here. <coughs> We're getting to that, to influence. And I get to draw an intrigue card. Unfortunately, that will do nothing for me. Some of these can give you points at the end of the game, which is kind of what I was hoping for, but nothing you can do. Yellow will be playing this card, which will be playing it here, which will give him an entry card and another troop. And they pass with a million cards in hand. Let's see what blue will do. They will be playing other memory to the space that gives them a troop and a card. So they get to draw two cards. And play some troops into battle if they wish, which they will be doing. Probably for tiebreaker purposes in case they think I have anything. You can see what red will do. Red unfortunately will not be able to tackle any of the alliances that blue has. So this will most likely be the end of the game. They get to commit a bunch of troops, which they will be doing. They end their turn. I get to reveal, I can get one spice. And I don't think I will be buying any cards. Red has two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nine, ten. Yep. So they had a bunch of spice must flows as well. They might have some intrigue cards that give them some points at the end, so we can't count them out yet. We'll see what blue does with their reveal. They might be able to afford a spice must flow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't look like it. They played this, which lets them spend three Solari to get extra troops in battle, which is what they just did. Looks like they will be withdrawing troops so they can get one influence with one faction. And they will be taking one last strike at the guild. Because why not? See, Red has one action left. And looks like it will not be a very impactful move. Yep, they will ship. Probably just try to give them some yeah. some more spice for tie-breaking purposes. <coughs> they are the last ones to reveal, so they will be going again. This will give them an extra point. Oh, they get a bunch of swords. Fortunately, they could not get the alliance from me. 
So they don't, do not get the total. But they do go ahead of yellow. Or they tie with yellow. <laughs> Which is an interesting outcome, to say the least. Alright, now it's combat. Okay, yellow, anything? So I yellow gains two swords. Uh, Azul? Sorry, I meant to say no. I was yep. Thinking. Okay. Anything red? Okay, get your two points. The hell? Oh, that. Okay, we do an end game. Yeah. Okay. No, if you not. So this gives them one where they have one faction influencer less, which it would be one, two, two total. Which does put them up to ten, beating me. I get third place with nine with my weird water strategy. Anything from you, Green? Nope. So yeah, my points are up there. I'm I'm a nine. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Nice. GG. Unless <clears throat> Yellow has some more. Yeah, good game.